ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದು ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕರೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ ಕಿಪಾಸಿಂದು ಬೆವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾಪುನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗು ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಜತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವಿತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಸ್ನಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಣ ಚೈವ ನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ್ಣ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಿಂಚಿನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗವಧೂಷು ಅದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂಕರು ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೋ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವೀಶ್ಯಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ಬಂಧಿತ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನುಸಿಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ಬದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ ತಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಭಿದ್ದತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಗಂಥಿ ಛಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಸರ್ವ ಸಂಶಯ ಕ್ಷಿಯಂತೆ ಚರ್ಮಿ ದೃಷ್ಟನೇವಾತ್ಮನೀಶ್ವರಿ ಭಿದ್ದತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಗಂಥಿ ಛಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಸರ್ವ ಸಂಶಯ ಕ್ಷಿಯಂತೆ ಚರ್ಮಿ ದೃಷ್ಟನೇವಾತ್ಮನೀಶ್ವರಿ 
গৌড়ীয় গোষ্ঠীপতি শ্রী শিল ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী গোস্বামী ঠাকুর প্রভুপাদ পরমাংস জগৎগুরু টোল when our eyes don't want to see anything when our eyes don't like to see anything material when our ear don't like to hear anything material when our tongue don't like to take nice nice tasty things when our boys don't like to speak any material thing only like to chant the name of bhagwan then and only then we can get the scope to do hari bhajan under the guidance of pure guru vishnu under the guidance of pure guru vishnu then possible not before that শিল গৌরীয় গোষ্ঠীপতি ভক্তি সিদ্ধান্ত সরস্বতী গোস্বামী ঠাকুর প্রভুপাদ জগৎগুরু টোল দৌজুয়া সাধু দে ক্যান সি দ্য ফিউচার কনসিকুয়েন্স অফ এভরিথিং ইচ অ্যান্ড এভরিথিং ফিউচার কনসিকুয়েন্স হোয়াট ইজ গোয়িং টু হ্যাপেন হোয়াট উইল হ্যাপেন হোয়াট গোয়িং টু হ্যাপেন at present it is very nice i am feeling attraction i like to enjoy really so at present i am feeling so much attraction i don't like to hear anybody even guru vaishnav is there to stop me i don't like to stop i like to run for enjoyment because i i like enjoyment but pope was speaking those who like to become sadhu those who want to become sadhu they must try they must try to understand they must feel the future consequent of the object you want to enjoy future what will be future now this building this man woman everything all enjoying mood but in future what will happen i can get eternal enjoyment or not i can get eternal enjoyment or not that is the first question if there is no eternal enjoyment only for two days then after that what will happen i will have to cry na at the time of death if i have some attachment for anything then i will have to cry because at the time of my <clears throat> living body at the time of my death if i remember that object that man woman or anything then that is one kind of tight bondage for me where i can go jang jang ba upi saranam bhavam tejati ante kalivaram at the time of your death with what conception what feeling you are going to leave your body you will have to take birth for infinity period for infinity period you are taking birth i am taking birth everybody taking birth all insects all taking birth all everybody taking birth repeatedly punarapi jananam punarapi mananam punarapi matri jathari sayanam every time we are going to die we forget what is what do you mean by death you know what do you mean by death you know the meaning of death you know what is the meaning of death what is the actual meaning of death what is the actual meaning of death mittur atyantik bishruti try to remember this point nobody can make fool of you mittur atantik bisruti atant misint mane you can lose you can cut your relationship with your previous life you can forget you are disconnected you are disconnected 
from your previous life. That is called Mithu. You forget your previous body, you forget your previous wife, you forget your previous father, mother, city, building, all you forget. This is called Mithu. Because Atma is not going to die. Regarding Atma, there is no question of death. Where from death can come? Atma is eternally present. There is no question of death. But still you are going to fear at the time of death. Why? Because you have attachment, affinity for the material world. That's why you are crying. Because I am going to lose everything. All my building, flat, or everything. But Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking. You have taken birth. You have taken birth, na? When you took birth in this world, what you brought? You brought something? Only free hand. Even hand is not open. No. One small baby, when take birth, this hand. You took birth, even no one piece of cloth, no property, no money, nothing. When you took birth, free hand. When you are going to leave your body, then also you will have to leave your body free hand. You cannot take anything, any object, anything you cannot take from this material world. Nothing you can take. Free hand you will have to. Bhagavan speaking, why you are lamenting? Bhagavan asking, why you are crying? What you lose? What you had? What you had fiercely before taking birth? You took everything from this material world. Even this cloth, even the garment, even the speck, everything you took from the material world. All your bank money, everything you took from this material world. Then why you are crying? At the time of leaving your body, you will have to leave everything, you will have to pay everything. Pay and go. Then why you are crying? Because we are in Maya. Because there is Maya, that's why you are crying. If there is no Maya illusion, we can discover our actual Sarup. If there is no Maya, then I, I can discover my own Sarup. That's why yesterday I told you that in Chat, a, all Veda, Upanishad in personified form, together with all Muni Rishis, going to pray and to a lotus with the Bhagavan. Bhagavan, you withdraw your Maya. Please withdraw your Maya. If Maya is there, then we are blind, we cannot see. We cannot see the absolute truth. We think the apparent truth, oh, is nice. We cannot see absolute truth. It's one kind of barrier. We cannot see. That's why you, you can remember yesterday I told, Jaya, 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 Ya, Jaya, Jaya, Johi, Ajam. Jaya, Jaya, Oh, Bhagavan, Jaya, Jaya, Johi. You kill, cut the Maya. Jaya Jaya Jahi Ajam Maya Kat Jaya Jaya Ya 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 Mahi Tadas Givi Taguna Tamasi Yadatmana Sama Baruddha Sama Stabaga Aga Yaga Dhoko Sama Kila Sakta Babo Dakati This very nice. That's why you see all the time. Maya is there, but Maya is also eternal. In your life, Maya can stop working, but Maya is eternal. Maya is there. When there is no creation, you cannot see Maya. Because all submerged in Bhagavan, no, nothing. But Maya is there. If, if, if our internal potency is eternal, if our internal potency is 
eternal, then naturally internal potency, potency eternal, then external potency also present. Because existence of external potency totally dependent on that. Because if there is no Sarup Shakti, then shadow cannot be there. It's called shadow, Chaya Shakti. It's called Chaya Shakti in Brahma Sangita. Srishti Shriti Pala Sadhana Shakti Reka Chayeva Jasya Bhuvanani Vivartu Durga Jashyan Rupam Abhik Chastate Sa Gavinda Madhi Purusham Chayeva, Chayeva is like shadow. So, Sarup Shakti is there. So, external, the external potency is also illusory energy, always there. Illusory is always there. Somebody asking, somebody asking, what is the definition of Maya? Somebody asking to Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Thakur, what is the actual definition of Maya? What is the actual definition of Maya? We we'll like to know. Bhakti Muta was speaking. Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there. Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there. And outside this Sarup Shakti, except that Sarup Shakti, Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there. Everybody knows. Bhagavati, Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there. Except that Sarup Shakti, except that Sarup Shakti, it seems, except that Sarup Shakti, it seems that another Shakti is there. But except that Sarup Shakti, this Shakti has no existence. Try to understand. Very cool way. You try to. Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there. Okay. But except that Sarup Shakti, it seems, it seems that another Shakti is there, working in this material world. But except that Sarup Shakti, the external potency which seems to be there, has no existence. That is called Sarup Shakti. How nice scientific, how nice scientific definition. Bhagavad Sarup Shakti is there, except that Sarup Shakti, it seems that another Shakti is working. Surely it is not Sarup Shakti, but like Sarup Shakti, not Sarup Shakti. It is working in the material world, illusory energy, Maya. That is called, that energy is called Maya. That is the definition of Maya. Jakharupi, Jakharupi, you know, there in asking, uh, to Yudhishthirma Jamraj in Bimala Kund. Bimala Kund, you know, in, you know, Bimala Kund, you heard name of Bimala Kund, I can discuss, okay. I was traveling in Vrindavan, Navadiv, like crazy man. If you see, you cannot understand, he is Sambhava, like beggar. One known man, going, here I am going, he is going. He cannot see me. He cannot see me. So, Sarup Shakti is a Shakti. Except Sarup Shakti, another Shakti seems to be working. Seems to be working in this material world. But except that Sarup Shakti, this Shakti has no existence. That is called Maya. In front of, in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, in front of Yudhishthir Maharaj, Jakharuki Jamaraj asking, asking, Kimas Charjam Ati Param, Kimas Charjam. Kim Asharjam. What is the most strange thing? What is the topmost strange thing? Strange. 
strange thing in this material world. What is the strange? Yudhishthir Ma speaking, people watching that every day, people dying. Every day people dying. I am watching. Some dead body going. Balahari, Haribol, Balahari, Haribol, Ram Nam Satya hai, dead body going. I am watching outside. That day I was speaking, na? He is actually intelligent. He is actually intelligent. Who can realize everything? He is actually in intelligent who can realize everything about the mathematical interpretation of this life. Who can realize? He can realize Guru Vaishnava. He can realize that after living body, surely there is something. This is not all that I have taken birth, some enjoyment was there in my life. Surely something there. But what is that? That's why we can go through the last teachings of Bhagavan Sri Krishna before living body. Before living, this material world. Bhagavan not living body. Bhagavan never living body. Pure Guru Vaishnava also not living body. But it seems the body living. I already told, na? It is just like the snack going to leave the, you know, body skin. It's like that. And also to give us benefit so that we can worship and do samadhi, do everything. Eternal eternal world, they are going. Their body is not material body. So, Yudhishthir Maharaj giving answer. Ahanyahani bhutani gachanti yo jamalayam Shesham sthavaram ichami kimas charjamate param Paramam Ahanyahani bhutani gachanti ho jamalayam Shesham sabaram ichami kimas charjamate paramam Ahanyani bhutani gachanti ho jamalayam Every day countless jivas, countless jivas, we cannot count. Countless in the sense, we cannot count. They are dying in this world. Aquatic element of birds and beasts, insects. Countless insects are there inside your body. Your body itself one kind of brahmanda. Your body itself one kind of brahmanda. You don't know. Countless jivas living inside your body. Countless jivas. You are taking prasadam, nursement, or countless jivas living. So, every day countless jivas are dying. But, especially about human beings, they have some consciousness, no? They cannot realize anything. That life is unstable. They cannot realize. They are watching. My father going, my grandmother going, my son, daughter all going from this material world. But he is not going to realize that someday I will have to leave this material world. Not going to think. There is no realization. He cannot realize that I will have to leave this material world today or tomorrow. There is no certainty. There is no certainty when you can leave your body. No certainty. So this is Yudhishthir Maha speaking. This is the topmost, this is the topmost magic spell of Maya Devi. Nobody can realize. This is the topmost magic spell of Maya Devi. Nobody can realize the body is death, I will have to leave body. So Bhagavan Sikh is now speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj. Esha buddhi matam buddhi manisha cha manishinam jat satyam anirte neha martena apnati amritam. Uddhavji Maharaj asking, Prabhu, who is actually intelligent? 
Uddhavji Maharaj asking Prabhu, who is actually intelligent? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, he is actually intelligent. Who, after taking birth, can realize this body is unstable? Who is trying his best? Who is trying his best to get Amrita? Amrita, you know? Amrita? Nectar. Who is trying to get nectar, acquire nectar? Nectar means bhakti. In heavenly planet, in heavenly planet, there is nectar also. But that nectar is not useful for us. That nectar is available there. But that nectar is not useful for us. Shukdev Goswami path. Shukdev Goswami path is already there in Shuktal Khetro to speak Bhagavad Katha, Hari Katha to Parikhit Maharaj to help him to enter into eternal world. That time, all demigods, they are also coming from heaven. All demigods, they are coming from heaven. They are requesting to Parikhit Maharaj. Hey, they are requesting to Shukdev Goswami. All demigods, they also reach that spot and requesting Shukdev Goswami, uh, why not, it is our request, you can give this Amrita, which we have in heaven, the planet. This Amrita we have, you can give to him. And the Amrita you like to give, uh, you can give to us. Indra Maharaj and all demigods, they are putting, they are going to put one proposal, one proposal in front of Shukdev Goswami. Why not you give this Amrita we already bring to Parikhit Maharaj and give your Amrita to us? But Sukhdev Goswami was very angry, feeling very pain. Sukhdev Goswami is speaking, they're going to make some exchange. Exchange, you know, exchange? Exchange, you know, they let exchange. But Bhagavad Amrita cannot be exchanged with, with anything. Bhagavad Amrita is Bhagavad Amrita, unparalleled, unbeaten. So they like to exchange like businessmen. Like a businessman, you know, businessmen always like to have some exchange. So Sukhdev Goswami was very, very, very sorry, very, very pain. He was feeling pain. He didn't think it, he didn't think it necessary, he didn't think it necessary to give answer. He didn't think it necessary to give even one answer to Indra Maharaj or, or demigods. But inside mind, he was feeling very pain and thinking, Shakarji Kusala Suraha, Sakarje Kusala Suraha. They are very clever. They are very clever to get, they are very clever to arrange anything. Very clever. They are very clever to arrange anything which they need. Sakarje Kusala Suraha. They are very clever. Clever means crow, like crow, you know. Shukdev Goswami was very sorry. He didn't think it an answer. They could speak that you are going to speak Harikatha in front of Parikhit Maharaj. Well, we can also hear. They could speak this way. But they are going to exchange. We can give heavenly Amrita to them. Heavenly Amrita. What is the after effect? What is the after effect? What is the after effect of this Amrita? The Amrita can give you healthy life. You can never become old man. You can have a vigorous energy. You can enjoy, enjoy all, all heavenly facilities available. You can enjoy with Apsara. Apsara, na? nice, nice, 
demisel there, staying. Apsara. You can travel in Nandan Kanan. We can go anywhere. Or different kind of Siddhi, Siddhi. You know Siddhi? I can discuss in the point. Anima, Mahima, Logima, Prakama, Prakam, Kama. All Siddhi, demigod they have. If you are speaking from heart, from here, Indra Maharaj can hear from heaven. Indra Maharaj, they are in heavenly planet, na? But when you are speaking anything to Indra Maharaj, Indra Maharaj can hear from here. He need not come here. But if I am speaking something to you, if you are staying outside the room, you cannot hear. I mean, they have the joke siddhi. They can say anything. They can become fine form. Indra Maharaj can take the form of a fly or mosquito. Or even more, you know, fine form. But joke siddhi there. They can enter into stone. They can enter into stone. There is no gapping, but still can. As per physics, as, as, as per phys, physics we know, if iron is there, is iron piece, still there is intermolecular, still there is intermolecular gapping. If there is one iron piece, iron piece is solid, there is no question of any gapping, but still it is there. There is intermolecular, there is intermolecular gapping, but you cannot see. Whatever small it is, uranium, plutonium, rhodesium, everything, all they have intermolecular, but you, are, you cannot see. So, they have the power to enter into any object. They can reach, they can reach any place without any time gapping. They have Jokshiddhi, na? This kind of Jokshiddhi, Guru Vaishnav can get automatically. This kind of Jokshiddhi, Guru Vaishnav can get auto without asking. Without asking. They can get anything. But those who are, jok they, those who are expecting for Vibhuti, they like to get. They are always trying their best to get this kind of appliances, Vaibha. If they like to reach, if they like to reach Vrindavan at present, I mean Mathura, any time, any place, they can reach immediately, without fear. I told, na, Bhagavan Das Bhavaji Maharaj, reach there. Without ticket, without nothing, immediately, I like to go Vrindavan. But this kind of different kind of vibhuti, appliances, you should realize that those, we can find no utility in this eternal world. No utility. What utility we can get? Because in eternal world, in Vaikuntha Jagat, there is no utility of this kind of appliances. What you are always ready to collect. Even one friend of one yogi, one friend of one yogi, yogi coming and sometimes meet with his friend, I have done yoga. Acha, what is your achievement? What is your achievement? Well, uh, you don't know what is my achievement. What achievement? Uh, I can walk over water. I can walk over water. Oh, you can walk over water. I mean, you can cross this river. You can cross it. Yes. So, I can pay two rupees and cross the river. I can pay only two rupees. Why should it take trouble to, <laughs> to waste my life only to get this kind of offensive? What is the utility? I can pay two rupees. I'm more practical. I can do bhajan of Bhagavan to satisfy him. So, those yogi gani, they are always trying to get some offenses. To make full of you. They can get anything. If they like to get gold, tuck. Foolish people they think he is Ishwar, he is idiot, he is rascal. They like to make full of you. Yoga Siddhi. 
So Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, Esha buddhi matam buddhi, Manisha cha manishinam, jat satyam anrita neha martena apnati amritam. With this, with this material body, which I am supposed to live every, every now and then. With this body, with this, you know, if I try my best to collect that amrita, which is available there in Vaikuntha Jagat, which is available there in Vaikuntha Jagat, in Gologdham, I like to get that. Because in that case, I can enter into eternal life. I can enter into eternal life. What I can do with this material thing? Bhagavan Sri Krishna or Bhagavan Sri Krishna is Swayam Rup Bhagavan. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is Swayam Rup Bhagavan. There is no other cause. There is no other cause of Bhagavan Krishna. Because scientific research depends upon this formula. Why this is happening? What is the reason behind it? I can follow. I can come to the reason. Why this is happening? I can go to the reason back. Oh, this is the reason. Why this is happening? I can go to that. This is called scientific research. You know scientific research? Scientific research means you will have to go back. You have to know the reason for why this is happening. What will happen after? Forward and back, you will have to search. Follow. This is called research. Scientific research depends upon this formula. All scientific research depends upon this formula. They can go back to the originalism, why happening? Or they can, oh, this is, what will happen if this is happening? Advance or back. But you forget, Ishwaraha Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. Any object you show me, any object, anything you show me, I can show you this object coming from there. And that object coming? Or for this. Why this happening? For this. I mean, every object, every object in this material world, your body, your mind, everything, whatever you think, visible or not visible. What you can see, what you cannot see. What is there in front of you, what is beyond your capacity of watching. All objects, all men, all women, or anything has some reason, has some reason behind it. Why this? I mean, in scientific research, we can say cause and effect. Cause and effect. In scientific research, physics we know, Cause and effects, chemistry, physics. In winter season, I am rubbing hand. If you are rubbing hand, then you feel some hot. Feel some hot, na? The hot is the effect. Cause, cause, because you are going to give, you are going to apply some mechanical energy. Try to understand. I am going to apply some mechanical energy. The so mechanical energy now converted into heat energy. Actually, in the whole universe, infinity world, no energy can be destroyed. Try to understand this fallacy. Very, very secret. It seems it is one kind of fallacy, but it is fact. In infinity world, in infinity world, whatever energy there, I know infinity energy, but infinity energy, out of that infinity energy, any energy you are going to consider, that energy can never be destroyed. Energy can never be destroyed. Only it can be transformed. Only it can be transformed from one energy to another. It can convert. From waterfalls, waterfall, I can put one turbine. I can put one turbine, one blade. Waterfall is there, that blade is moving. I can make some Faraday, Faraday law. You know Faraday law? You don't know. Foolish. Faraday physics. Faraday law. Electrical induction. So when the turbine is moving, you are getting electricity. When you are going to put this electricity 
into some machine, machine, machine in factory. The electricity entering into the machine and even again going to give mechanical energy movement. So energy can never be destroyed. Try to realize this point. Energy can never be destroyed, any energy. Only energy can be converted from one energy to another energy. This can be done. This secret thing, the great scientist Einstein could realize. Nobody could realize. Why is the topmost scientist in the world? Because he could realize, he could realize the secrecy of Gita. Why Einstein is the topmost scientist in the world? Because he could realize the secrecy of Gita. Who could realize the secrecy of Chandi? That all objects, everywhere, whatever you see, there is energy there. Energy there. But you cannot see. Einstein is topmost scientist because he could realize the topmost thing, the secrecy of Gita, secrecy of Chandi. That's why he learned, he was bound to learn Sanskrit, to understand, feel the meaning of Gita, inner meaning. So he could realize the all, all object in the material world, all object, all object, any object you see is a, any object you see can be converted into energy. I mean a concentrated quantum theory, physics. If you discuss, you can go mad. Quantum physics. Nanotechnology at present in an advanced country. Fine. Fine. Now within this within this you know uh, a device, one small, I can do big, big job. Previously, you'll have to take one room. In room, you'll have to set one missing, different kind of missing. This missing can help, this missing, this missing can help. But now, within this gapping, one I see. I see. I see, you know? I see, you know? Integrated circuit, in mobile, everywhere, all electrical device, computer, there is I see. Very small device. Within this you can do anything. So this world, this universe, infinity world, all coming from the Supreme Lord. Where from you are coming, where you are supposed to go back, you have no information about that. That's why you are wasting your energy. That's why you are going to waste your energy. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Nanda Nanda Sri Krishna, is a source of all source. Ishvara Paramakrishna Satchidamna Vigra, Anadi Radhi Govindu Sarva Karana Karanam. Every cause, every cause in this material world is followed, followed by another cause. Every cause in this material world is followed by another cause. But there is no cause of Govinda. Cause and effect, I told now. Cause and effect. This is the basic thing of you know, scientific research. Cause and effect. On the basis of this cause and effect, they, Benjamin Franklin discovered current, Faraday discovered how to preserve it, current can be followed. This way, all. Cause and effect. So, there is no cause of Bhagavan, Nandan, Nandan, Krishna. All objects, infinity world, all demigods, all heavenly planets, whatever you see, there is some cause behind this cause. But there is no cause, there is no cause, there is no cause resting behind Krishna. Krishna is the original cause of, cause of all causes. Krishna is the original cause of all causes. There is no other causes. Now, Bhagavan Sri Krishna appearing here, not only one time in a, in a day of Brahma. Only one time in a day. Brahma, 71 Chatur Yuga, 71 Chatur Yuga, Shatta Teta Dapar Kali, Shatta Yuga, 
Chattva Teta Dapar Koli. Koli ji duration, you know, three lakhs thirty-two thousand. Three lakh kaba three hajar. Just double you make six lakhs sixty-four hajar, eh, thousands. Teta ju. And make just double of that, you can get Teta, you eh, know, Dapar Juk, after Kali, double. And Kali Juk duration, if you can double, you can get Teta Juk. Teta Juk duration, if you can double, then you can Satya Juk duration. It's called duration. And according to that estimation, and according to that estimation, if you go on calculating, then you will have to calculate 71 Chatur Juga. One cycle, one cycle of Chatur Juga, Satya Teta Dapar Kali. Again, Satya, again, Satya Teta Dapar. There is 71 time. 71 time you will have to wait. Satya Teta Dapar Kali. Rotation. 71 time. <coughs> 71 Chatur Juga, the duration of one Manu, you know, one Manu tuple. Tapal, you know? Fall down. I fall down, man, I go. His duration is finished. And within this period, uh, within this period, you know, within this period, our Bhagavan Sikh is not taking birth. Only 27th, 27th Chatur Yuga. 71 Chatur Yuga, na? Within this 71 Chatur Yuga, only when 27th Chatu Yuga, 27th Chatu Yuga gone, 28, 28 Chatu Yuga approaching, I mean touching, then Bhagavan Sikh is not appear. Follow. In one, one Mananta, only one time, Bhagavan coming, long time. Uh, Bhagavan coming, Krishna Bhagavan coming. And when Bhagavan Sri Krishna coming and doing some Leela, people cannot understand the meaning of his Leela. People think he is a sense and you are this, that, so many rubbish things they are thinking. Then after Bhagavan Sri Krishna leaving this material world, Bhagavan again took decision to come in the form of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Follow. When Bhagavan Sri Krishna going away, when Bhagavan Sri Krishna going away from this material world, after that, that particular Chatuju, that particular Chatuju, 28th, 27th, 27th Chatuju over, 28th Chaturju, then Krishna appeared only one time. Even within 71 Chaturju, only one time. And that particular Chatujuk, that particular cha, that particular Chatujuk, there within that Chaturyuk you can find Daparjuk. That particular Chaturyuk, there is also Chat Dapur Daparjuk is well, Chatotte Dapur. And that Dapurjuk, Krishna appear. And when Krishna is going to disappear from this material world, just the next Kali call. When just Krishna disappear, na? When just Krishna disappear. Then after that Kali enter. When Kali enter, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I mean Krishna Bhagavan coming in the form of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this kind of facility we cannot get. This kind of facility, if we are going to miss, if we are going to miss this kind of golden opportunity, if we are going to miss if we are going to miss this kind of golden opportunity, if we are going to miss this kind of golden opportunity, then we cannot get it. Big problem. So now Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I am discussing about this, uh, the last teachings, the last teachings of Bhagavan Sri Krishna before leaving this material world, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to give some advice to Uddhavji Maharaj. He is a close friend, not close friend. Close friend is one kind of material term. I cannot say close friend because Bhagavan Sri Krishna told 
Uddhav and me, non-different from each other. Bhagavan Sri Krishna told, Uddhav Anuopi, na Uddhav Anuopi Mannuno. Na Uddhav Anuopi Mannuno. One atomic particle, one atomic particle, one atomic particle, if I put in between Krishna and Uddhav, Try to understand, try to concentrate. Try to concentrate, full concentration. If I put one atom in between Krishna and Uddhav, there is also some gapping. Gapping, no? No gapping. Oh, oh, there is gapping. If I put one atom, still there is gapping. But Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking. That kind of gapping is also not there. Hello, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Sri Even one atomic uh, particle, if I put in between Krishna and Uddha, even that kind of gapping is not there between Uddha and me. No, Uddha ba onu opimannuno. That means Uddha and Krishna identical. Same. Identical in the sense, not that Uddha is Krishna. Because always you, you go to your devotee, always should remember about Achinta Vedavat Tattva. Simultaneously, difference and non-difference. It depends upon the concentration of love affair. It depends upon the concentration of love affair. How much concentration of love affair? My Gurudev is a near and dear one of Bhagavan, so I can say my Gurudev is Bhagavan. Because Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan writing in Gita and um, Bhagavatam. Acharya Mam Bijaniyat. I am not speaking, Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan speaking, Acharya, I mean your Gurudev, I myself coming. Acharya Mam Bijaniyat. So there is no gap. But still there is some conception of Achinta Vedavat Tattva. Simultaneously, difference and non difference is realized. If you lose this conception, if you are going to if you are going to lose this conception of if you are going to lose this conception of difference and non difference, then you can lose all bhajan. You can become Mayavadi. If you are going to lose this conception of Achinta Vedavat Tata, you will become Mayavadi. You become Mayavadi. Useless. So Bhagavan Sikh is not speaking, there is no gapping between there is no gapping between Uddhav and me. Who is Uddhav? I am myself. Bhagavan Sri Krishna appeared in this material world, doing so much Leela. In gist I can speak, only I can point out one by one, one point. Bhagavan Sri Krishna took birth in Mathura. Also, we have information that Bhagavan Sri Krishna took birth in Gokul also. But that is very secret. That is not open to all. Everybody know that Krishna took birth in Mathura. But we Gauriya Vaishnava devotees, we have information. Krishna also took birth in Gokul Vrindavan. Gokul Vrindavan. After taking birth, Vasudev Ji Maharaj, by the order of Bhagavan, Vasudev Ji Maharaj taking Krishna in the lap, I am going to reach you know, Gokuldam, crossing river, Chamuna river. Reaching there, going to put the boy, a small baby, in the bed. But he couldn't, it is the arrangement of Jogumaya. It was the arrangement of Jogumaya, while, while putting this baby in the bed, he couldn't, he couldn't see. Vasudhaji Maharaj could not see, could not see the another boy is there. Jibhoga Seba writing, when Vasudhaji Maharaj is going to put this small baby on the bed, in the bed, he couldn't see another baby, another small boy is there. I mean Nandan Nandan Krishna. Where, when Vasudhaji Maharaj is going to put this baby in the bed, immediately the two boys submerge. Is Vasudhaji Krishna? Vasudev Krishna is going to submerge with Nanda Nanda Krishna. And there was another Jogumaya, Mahamaya. 
No, Jogmaya need not come. It's come. Someday I can explain. Someday I can explain that one, one ba oh no, baby was there, daughter, baby, small baby. Twine, one Krishna Bhagavan took birth, another you know, daughter also took birth. By that, about that baby, most of the you know, people, they are, exp they are speaking that it is Jogmaya. Most of the people they see, it is Jogmaya. <coughs> Most of the people, when they are hearing Harikatha, speaking Harikatha, they can speak that only it is Jogmaya. But it is not Siddhanta. It is not appropriate Siddhanta. It is Mahamaya. <coughs> Jogmaya need not come for this small job. But this cheap job, very small job. <coughs> Only Mahamaya coming, what for? Mahamaya coming for what? To make full of Kangsa. To cheat Kangsa, na? For this small purpose, for this small purpose, Jogmaya need not come. Mahamaya is more than sufficient. I can explain this point someday. Long Harikatha. You can understand, oh Maharaj, it's not Jogmaya. Everybody explaining wrong way. It is Jogmaya, but not Jogmaya. Mahamaya. So, so many reasons I can show you. And Jibhosimha also confirmed. This is Mahamaya. For this small, for this small, you know, purpose, Maha, Jogmaya need not go. Jogmaya is havoc. Jogmaya can help, Jogmaya can help, you know, help Rasa Leela. The very first sloka, Jogmaya Mupasritam. Or Jogmaya can help Rasa Leela. Big, big thing. <laughs> oh, Jogmaya can, why it can come? No. So, it is the arrangement of Mahamaya. So, Shukdev Goswami speaking to Parikhit Maharaj. Shukdev Goswami is very clever. Don't like to speak anything more. Until and unless, this, until and unless, disciple is going to feel tremendous attraction. Until and unless my disciple is not going to feel tremendous attraction for Harikatha. I cannot speak. I can cut short. Ah, Gurudev, after that what happened? Actually, Krishna took birth in Mathura. Then he was taken to Gokul. Gokul brought and brought up there. There are so many witches, you know, Rakshashis, you know, they came, a demon, a kill. After that he was taken to Mathura and again Mathura. From there he went to you know, Daruka, Daruka is going to marry so many. After that, finish. Shukdev Goswami very clever. Shukdev Goswami wanted to cut short. Shukdev Goswami thinking, until and unless I can discover, until and unless I can see that my disciples are tremendous attraction for Harikatha. I cannot speak this secret topics of Krishna. I can speak that. This way, in Daroka, Bhagavan Sri Krishna doing so many lila there. So many lila in Daroka, so many countless lila doing. And Naraji Maharaj was very much interested to see Krishna lila, how Krishna doing lila, how Krishna doing lila there in Daroka, uh, everywhere. Bhagavan Sri Krishna. There, Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Doing Leela, how possible going to marry 18,000, uh, 16,108 wives at a time, marriage at a time, going to lead their life at a time. Naraji Maharaj was, you know, stunned. Naraji Maharaj was stunned to see, very stunned. This way, after that, Brahma coming from up, I can discuss this point. Brahma coming from up and all demigods also, they are requesting Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Prabhu, all your Leela, everything done. The reason, the reason for why you came, the reason for why you came in this material world, all done. 
So please you come. Please you come. You need not stay in the material world anymore. All your purpose is served. So Brahma and all demigods are speaking, Bhagavan, you can go. All purpose done. Then by the request of Brahma, Bhagavan Sri Krishna took took decision to took decision to disappear from this material world. Took decision to disappear from this material world. But for because for disappearance, there should be some cause. If there is no cause, how Bhagavan can go away from the material world? There should be one reason, na? For why Bhagavan going away? So Bhagavan wanted to arrange some reason, external reason. Bhagavan wanted to arrange some external reason to go away, go away from the material world. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Bhagavan Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, explaining in front of Sunatan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our Gauranga Mahaprabhu, I mean Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Explaining in front of explaining Chaitanya Mahaprabhu explaining in front of Sanatan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speaking Sanatan in Sanatan teaching. Sanatan Sikha, you know, Sanatan Sikha. There you can find. Sanatan. Actually all the all such Lila, like like disappearance of Krishna, all such all such lila, like disappearance of Krishna from this material world, Moishya eh? Haran, all the abduction, all the abduction of wives, men, 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 wife, and uh, they are all gone immediately. Like Rukini, Shatta, they jump into fire, or, or other wives, all other wives. It was the order, it was the order given by Bhagavan Sri Krishna. It was the order given by Bhagavan Sri Krishna to Arjun. Arjun, after I disappear, you can take all rest of the rest of those wives. You can take them and go to some other place. It was the standing order. So Arjun wanted to take all the gang, all the gang of wives, all the gangs, oh, thousands of wives of Krishna. But in the midway, but in the midway, Arjun was defeated by one tribal, tribal man, tribal, you know? tribal man. In the midway, which is next, which is next to impossible, which is next to impossible, not possible, but still. Arjun was defeated. That Gandiv, Gandiv, you know, special bow and arrow. It's called Gandiv. Special bow and arrow. Gandiv. Shame Arjun. Shame weapon. But that Arjun, power gone. But the power gone. Same Arjun, same weapon, everything, same, but the power gone. Arjun was defeated. In front of those tribal, in front of those tribal people, without any reason, he couldn't fight with them. It was big problem. Follow. Actually, not that. Bhagwan Sri Krishna speaking. All the abduction, all the abduction of those wives, I mean Mahishis of Krishna. It is one kind of. Arrangement by Jogmaya. <coughs> Jogmaya, by Jogmaya. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, all to make full of people. Mahishi Haran, Mahishi Haran, or abduction of, or even it is not Jogmaya, Mahamaya. Bhagavan Sri Krishna, all Maya Maya. Excuse me, it is not Mahamaya. It is not Jogmaya, Mahamaya. Because, to make full of you. Why Krishna going to prove? Why Krishna going to prove in front of public that one hunter going to bow arrow 
and going to stuck the leg of Krishna. Right now, it is there, no? I can discuss tomorrow. One hunter, one hunter from long distance, watching the leg of Krishna is uh, standing with one leg up. Eh? Krishna is in this way, this way, supporting one people tree, people tree, you know, people tree, people tree backside. Krishna putting one leg up, other, or uh, one leg is visible, red one leg. One hunter from long distance watching, that one bird, nice bird is there. The hunter taking the bow and arrow, cha. Then the arrow coming and going to strike, strike the leg of Krishna. Then the hunter coming. How a hunter discover really? It is not, it is not a bird. It is the leg of Bhagavan Krishna. Oh, started crying. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Jora, his name was Jora. The name, the name of the hunter, the name of the hunter is Jora, Jora. There is a long history. I can speak tomorrow to make the background, to make the background of this teaching. Like a very interesting. Jara. He's going to what? He's crying. Prabhu, I have done, I have done mistake, I have done aparad. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, no aparad. You have done, you have done this according to my desire. You have done this according to my desire. So no problem, you can, no problem. Follow. Then Bhagavan Sri Krishna, to make fool of you and me, wanted to disappear from this material world. I mean, people going to discover that Krishna is going to die. Because don't try to read Puran. In different Puran, Shatik, Tamasik, Rajasik. Three type of Puran. In different, different Puran, some information there which you cannot reconcile. Suppose you hear from me, the Siddhanta Vichara Popat. Again, if you go through Mahabharata and you know, uh, different Puran, Bas. Maharaj speaking this, Popa speaking this, and uh, in Bhagavatam it is written, but it is written here. So, uh, to, put you in, to put you in confusion, to put you in confusion is more than enough to make full of you. That's why the arrangement. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is not going to die. How can he die? Satchidananda Vigraha, where, when your Atma, when your Atma is there, na, your, when your Atma is eternal, try to understand common sense. When your Atma, the spirit there inside your body, that is eternal. And when Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha, total body, Satchidananda, concentrated, Ghanibhuta, concentrated formation. If your Atma is eternal, if your Atma, spirit is eternal, Chiratma, Satchidananda Mahat, so what to speak about the death of, about the death of Krishna? Who can speak? But Krishna is not made up of blood and flesh, no? total Satchidananda, total, from the tips of, from the tips of here, up to the nail, down in the leg. All same. All Satchidananda Vigraha. That's why any part of, any part, any limb, any part, any limb of Krishna is complete Krishna. You don't understand. Any part, any limb of Krishna is complete Krishna. <laughs> you, you, cannot, you cannot reconcile, you can go mad. Let this finger is complete Krishna. Krishna is Krishna. And Krishna can do any Krishna can do any anything by the help of any sense organ. Krishna can take prasadam if like to take, of course if like by hand. The miracle. Krishna Tattva is very typical, you cannot understand. If Krishna like to see by hand, Krishna can see by hand. What to speak about the limb of Krishna? One dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat, one dust particle from Golok Vrindavan is complete. Purnavastu. 
Even one dust particle, even one dust particle from Vaikuntha Jagat is complete, itself complete. There is no deficiency, there is no shortage, all complete. Because there is Purna Jagat, that is called Purna Jagat. It is called Purna Jagat, complete. So Purna Sva Purna Madayo, Purna Meva Avashishwate. Purnam, Purnamado, Purnamado Chate, Purnasa Purna Madayo, Purna Meva Vasishati. It is the characteristics, it is the nature of Aprakiti Jagat. It is the nature of the transcendental world. If you take one dust particle from Goluk Vrindavan or Vaikuntha, it itself complete. It is also complete. Whereas, whole infinity world is there, but still, we are not complete. Infinity material world is there, but still we are not complete. So, we are going to discuss about Purna Jagat. We are not going to discuss anything. We are not going to discuss anything of this material world. We are going to discuss about that Purna Jagat, eternal Jagat. What is eternal? Big problem. Bonded soul can never realize this point. One day, Popad was bound to speak in one Harikatha. One day, Popad was bound to speak Harikatha. Bound to speak Harikatha in one place. Bound to speak one special Harikatha. And Parampujwa, Binod Babu, Keshav Goswami Maharaj was there. Popad suddenly speaking, Popad suddenly speaking, I can sacrifice the whole, I can sacrifice this whole world. I can sacrifice the infinity jiva for the satisfaction of Krishna. I can sacrifice the whole world for the entire satisfaction of Krishna. People, they couldn't realize. He is sadhu. He is sadhu speaking this way. Huh? He is Ram. Prabhupada speaking, I can sacrifice the whole world for the satisfaction of Krishna, Nanda Nanda Krishna. People could not realize this point. They couldn't understand. They misunderstood. They misunderstood Prabhupada. After that, some sadhu, I mean Vinodha could realize it is hundred percent perfect. Because this material world is negative. All your body, all your mind, all your body, all your mind, all your conception, all whatever available. If it is not, if it is, if it is not dedicated, if it is not dedicated for Krishna Seva, all material. Your body, your mind, your money, your whatever you have, all your belong, your education, all material. If you are not going to apply for Krishna Seva, surely. If you, are, if, you are, if you are failure, if you are failure to apply all those things for Krishna Seva, then all failure. Then negative. So whole material world, infinity material world is negative. And in positive world, one dust particle it is positive. So you can take negative or positive. Don't understand. Keeping zero, keeping zero in middle. If I put one straight line, if I put one straight line, if I put one point in the straight line, I put zero. If I think, if I take a, if I can take at, if I can take as granted that this point is zero, then if I, if I move, if I move, if I move this way. If I move right hand side, that's called positive, positive side. If I move this side, right hand side, that's when it is called positive side. I mean 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you can go. Positive, no? But if you go negative side, then minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus, you can go negative side. 
So if you approach negative side, if you approach negative side, the more you can move, then the more you can lose your valuation. Don't understand. The more you can move in negative side, the more you can move in negative side, the more you can lose your valuation. Because negative side, na. So minus one is greater than minus two. Minus one is greater than minus two. Minus two is greater than minus three. Minus three is greater than minus four. Naturally. Common sense. <laughs> Common sense only. So the more you can go negative side, the more you can lose your valuation. Negative side mean? What I mean to say? Negative side mean? If you are not going to do bhajan, if you like to cut all relationship with Guru, Vaishya, Bhagavan, Nam, Dham, all. And you like to become Ravan. Ravan, big. But still, your valuation is zero. Follow what I say. Maybe you are going to get control. Maybe you are going to get control over, maybe you are going to get control over heavenly planet. Hey, Indra, come! Indra is, Indra is serving for Indra, Barun, all serving. Indra, Barun, all they are serving for? For whom? Ravan. Hiranyakashipu. Hey, go there. The servant. Indra, Barun, come on, they are the, you know, they have some power, peak power. Indra, Barun, by wow. They are, they are giving service to. So even so even if you become, so even so even if you become Ravan, even if you become Ravan, still your valuation is zero, not zero, negative side. The more you can become, the more you can become, the more you can become a prominent personality, big personality in the material world, the more you can hold. Valuation of Hiranyakashibu, valuation of Hiranyakashibu, more or less, valuation of Hiranyakashibu, I know he is a demon, he is a king of, uh, you know, Asura destiny. I know it. But Hiranyakashibu, his valuation is more and more less than another ordinary Asura. Ordinary Asur, ordinary Asur, they can be there. But Hiranyakasu cannot understand, my valuation, my valuation is much lower, my valuation is much and much lower than the ordinary, ordinary devotees, ordinary, you know, ordinary demons. Someday I told, na, people become angry. At present situation is that, the valuation of disciple is more, more than Guru. Somebody misunderstand me. I am not surely speaking about Bhakti Bhantri Krishna Maharaj. Ordinary at present the situation. Valuation. Valuation, importancy of disciple is more than ordinary Guru. I mean Bogi Guru. Sense anywhere. They are taking initiation from Guru. But they don't know the valuation of Guru is much less than us. Try to understand. Hiranyakasipu think I am very, very important. But Hiranyakasipu don't know his, your valuation is much, much lower than one ordinary Asur. Because one ordinary Asur cannot express this kind of mood to enjoy the infinity world. Whereas you want to get control over. So your valuation is more or less. You have fallen so. So negative one. <coughs> so we are in this negative world. So we are in this negative world. So how we can? How, when and how? We are in the negative world. When and how we can come to the zero point? From negative point. When I can, when I can reach a zero point, neutral point, understand? Try to discover our own painful situation. I am not, I am not even, I am not even in zero position. I am not negative position. 
when I can come back from negative position to zero, and from zero point, I will have to go to positive side. Those who are doing real bhajan, they are always thinking this way. Then they can ha grow humble attitude. Then they can grow humble attitude. Very slowly, you have to think. So, <coughs> Bhagavan Sri Krishna, <coughs> Bhagavan Sri Krishna going to withdraw. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to withdraw everything. Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to withdraw everything from the material world. All his eternal parshat, everything from the material world, because Krishna wanted to go away from this material world. So, on some pretext, on some ground, on some ground, Krishna wanted to take preparation. Take preparation. <coughs> In the meantime, all Rishi Manis, they are going to Daroka. All Rishi Manis, they are going to Daroka. Why? They are going. All Rishi Mani. Bharadraj, eh, Parashar, Bharadraj, all. <coughs> Naraji, all Rishis. <coughs> they are doing bhajan. In the meantime, there was one incident. All the small boys, all the small boys of Jodhubangsha, all the small boys from Jodhubangsha, they are playing. They are playing. And, and, and in course of their playing, they are going to reach those Rishi Manis. They are going to. They never. They never wanted to make any joke, but that day what happened, who knows? They wanted to make one joking with those Rishi Manis. They are asking to Rishi Manis, Shambo, Shambo, Shambo is the grandson of Krishna. <coughs> no, Shambo is the son of Krishna. Very Jambavati, son of Jambavati. You know, and they wanted to make ladies' garment, ladies' garment, ladies' garment, ladies' garment, you know, ladies' garment. And going to ask that, that, uh, that Mataji, woman, going to give birth to one baby. So you please speak out, he can give birth to a you know, boy or girl. <coughs> this kind of joking. And when this kind of joking done, they are making, the Rishi Mani become very angry. They speak, well, you can go, you can give birth to an iron piece, mushal. I can speak this point tomorrow and onward how this, this last teachings of Bhagavan Sri Krishna took place because background should be there, otherwise they cannot understand. Na? How a background? Before leaving this material world, Krishna wanted to take preparation, so that all Jyadubhangshi, they can also, Bhagavan can, can go away from this material world. All wanted to make one. Very surprise. <coughs> I can discuss tomorrow. Today time is limited, I cannot discuss anymore. Excuse me, I have to go and run. <coughs> anyway, so, Vidyate Hidaganti Chiddante Sarva Sangsaya Kiyante Chasa Karamani Drishtanevat Manishwari Vidyate Hidaganti Chiddante Sarva Sangsaya Kiyante Chasa Karamani Drishtanevat Manishwari Vanchakalpadrosi Kepasindibhavisha Patitanang Pavana Bhavishna Vyonam.